Hello and welcome back to Pressing Buttons. Uh, we're playing t more Terraria. Oh geez, I just got completely wrecked by a zombie assailant that happened to uh, breach my home uninvited and it just, it just fucked my shit up. As you can see here is my grave. Um, it, it talks to me. Um, it's it's kind of strange, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to I'm gonna loot this thing. Can I pick this pick this thing up? Memorial to my own failure. Okay, so I definitely now have a my own grave, and this guy we we need to get revenge. We need to get revenge on those on those bastards, those bastard zombies. So the first step is to gear up. That's right. We are going to forge some armor. And we are going to go out and we're going to hunt zombies like it's our job. And look, here comes some more. So, first step, make it through the night without dying again, which, honestly, it's it's not looking good. I'm going to health potion it. Do I use it? There we go. All right. So, yeah, I think I just need to remember to actually use my potions and then things will work out. I got a little overwhelmed because this sword just is it just doesn't cut it. Um, no pun intended. It's just It just doesn't make the cut. Um, Wyatt, if Wyatt would just fucking help me, maybe I wouldn't have died, but he just decided to hang out down by the pool and watch me as I died. So, I'll remember that, Wyatt. Next time you're getting raped by a zombie in the corner, maybe I'll just watch. Okay, we're pretty much made it through the night now, so... First things first, let's see, what do I need? I have stone, I have a grave, that has nothing to do with what I'm making, so... We do have tin bars, so I need to make a furnace. So we're gonna go ahead and make a furnace right now. I don't think I have room to place it, which is kind of a problem. So here, let's see, what can I, can't place it there. This fireplace is so fucking huge. Um, I think I need to get rid of the fireplace. It's just not gonna, it's not helping me at this moment. So hang on a second. Let's, let's destroy it. Okay, campfire gone, that's okay. Um, this is more important at the, at the moment. So let's clear this out. We're gonna place some torches down. Uh, where are my torches? There go. Gonna place some torches, light this place up. Make it like a true home. There we go. Yep, kind of evenly spaced out. There we go, that looks nice. Actually, I think I'm gonna re- redistribute them. There, that looks, that looks great. Okay, so now let's go ahead and grab our other items. So we need a chair, eh. Let's go ahead and place the furnace first. So the furnace will go there. And then we need the workbench right next to it, I guess. Actually, oh, there we go. Um, so let's, let's actually place it a little bit further away. Or closer, I guess, would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, there we go. So that's our little work area. Then I'm gonna make a leisure spot where I can eat dinner at least. Um, where is the, okay, here's the table. Oh, there we go. Okay, so wooden table. That's what I want. We're gonna plant that right there. Gonna make another chair and then we're gonna put that one there. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna put it here. There we go, this is looking great. So um, this furnace should let me make some stuff here. Uh, Let's see, where's our bars? There's a bowl, pink vase, that's not really... Tiki torch sounds kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what it does, it probably just looks nice, but... Tin brick. Let's go, let's go down a bit more, I want to see what I can actually... Yeah, here we go, here's our bars and lead bar. Let's go ahead and make these. There we go, there's a lead bar. Oh, oh, no, I don't want that. What am I doing? Okay, there, uh... Let's go back up to tin. How many of these can I make? There we go. Got quite a bit, quite a bit of tin now. I got 21 tin, which should allow me to make some some new stuff here. So here's wood. Got wood greaves. I guess we should go ahead and make. Oh, I wish I. I'm not quite sure how to make metal. Um, do I need to make a anvil or something? Possibly. I don't even know. Armor statue. Furnace. Hmm. Well, I have wooden stuff, so I guess the I guess the best thing to do with it would be start with this basic stuff. So, I'm gonna equip the helmet, I'm gonna make a breastplate and equip that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, check me out. I'm a regular badass here. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I don't have enough to make shoes now. I'm, am I out of wood already? I guess I need to go out and chop some more wood. I must have used a lot of it to, uh, to make my platforms or something. So let's go ahead and find some trees so that we can tear down. Here's some. And uh, we'll go ahead and finish out this amazing suit of wooden armor. Wooden armor would be extremely uncomfortable. Even more so than, like, I think even metal armor because it's... Uh, I don't know. It's just... It, I feel like it'd be really weird and not very useful, actually. If you think about it, I've never, ever seen wooden armor. Ever. In any sort of... Other than shields, you know? I've never seen wooden armor before. It's kind of a weird concept. There's no, like, historical wooden armor sets that I know of, anyway. Well, we're making history here in Terraria with a wooden armor set. Okay, we're gonna have to jump this crevasse, crevice, creviche, and, uh, ooh! Got a blue slime, and then we got a bunch of big-ass trees that I'm going to just completely tear up. Are these berries? What are this? I guess I don't know. Maybe they're just flowers for decoration. Okay, take out both of these bitches. There we go, got some copper. Ooh, a little pink slime. It's kind of cute. Oh, it's hard to get him though. Okay, so let's not get too... Oh, wow, I just sent him flying, or her. Let's uh, fell these trees. These are some damn tall trees. I feel kind of guilty. I feel like I'm taking out the, the Amazon or something. Just for my, you know, filthy industry of death and mining. This blue slime's gonna have to wait. Back off. Fuck off! While I get my tree. Okay, so... Oh, it's just bouncing all over the place. You're ruining it! There it is. Okay, I think I'll have enough wood after this. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's plenty of wood. Okay, so let's head back, finish this suit of armor, which is already probably taking time. Actually, I don't know if there is durability for armor in this game. I don't think there is, because there's no durability on the tools. So I'm just going to take a wild guess and say that there isn't. But I could be wrong. Um, as I've said, I'm kind of doing a blind run here. I'm not quite sure what the hell is going on. I'm just kind of taking stabs in the dark at what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, you can kind of mow the lawn with the sword. Just kind of choppity chop away. Wyatt, what's up? Not much? Cool. Crafting. Actually, I am concerned. Wait. Uh, place material. Okay, that is not the help I wanted. Seriously, don't help me. Okay, so let's finish those boots. There we go. Boom. Full set. Check it out. Um, so yeah, that, that's good. Uh, yeah, so I guess from here, I just need to figure out how to use the, the metal I've, I've got, you know? Um, how do I make a chest? That would be really great if I could make a chest. No chest? Alright then. Okay, we don't need a chest. We're just gonna, let's go back down in the mine and uh, see what we can find. As soon as I take out the slime. I don't want to be up here during night again. That's just, that's a pain in the ass, let's be honest. Ooh, I just noticed something. Look at this. There's something right here that I didn't even see before. Is there any way I can just kind of magically get up there? Nope, okay. Uh, I need more rope. We'll get, we'll get that eventually. Um, I'm just gonna go back down in the mine. Okay, why you keep this place safe while I'm gone, okay? I'm counting on you. Looks like I got a sunburn or something. It's weird. I have, like, red skin. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It just kind of caught me off guard. I guess I could reclaim... Oh, is this like a were squirrel? What the fuck is this thing? It's huge. You don't belong down here, squirrel. You're in my territory now. All right, so we're going down from here. Oh. Our red slime's, like, harder. We're gonna find out. Looks like he has a lot of life. Oh, maybe not. Got him. Okay, so let's let's keep digging. 
We're going down, down, down into the ground. Okay, so I think I'll be able to get out of here again. My main concern is just the, the whole, you know, not having any material to make it back out. But I think I have enough wood to make platforms. Although it would be really nice to have more rope. There's just something fun about launching that coiled rope up into the air and grappling onto something and then sort of like shimmying up. It's just really fun. We're gonna pluck this torch down just like that. This is one hell of a shaft. Actually, it's not much of a shaft yet, but it's getting there. Um, I guess we only have to go two by two. I don't know why I go, I go but I have this thing, this weird thing, especially in Minecraft. It's I have to do everything in three. It just does, ah! It just doesn't feel right if it's not three, and it, it's kind of annoying for me because, like, everything in Minecraft is based on two, you know, like an, an even number. All the doors, you know, if you have double doors, that's two. All the paintings, everything in Minecraft is, is two. And so it's really annoying when the game is going two, 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 and you're going three. You know, you want everything to be, you know, odd numbered because that way it is uh, symmetrical. And it can be symmetrical with an with an even number as well. It's just, it's not, it's harder to do that. And it seems like in this game, it's kind of the same deal. Oh, jellyfish, that is just gorgeous. But yeah, it seems like in this game, it's the same thing. Um, so I'm gonna have a lot of moments where I just kind of get frustrated because I'm so used to doing three. I'm gonna dig down there. I, I love the water in this game. It's just so awesome how it's uh, finite. I love the finite water. That's something that, I just prefer about this game, but like so much. Some more torches. There we go. Plop that down. Oop. More. More tin. I guess tin is really all I can get right now. We gotta go deeper to find anything of worth. But I'll take the tin. I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know, curious about why there's so much tin. Okay, we're gonna start going down right now and we're gonna go into this watery chasm and we're gonna see what we can find yeah I just love how you can like dig into a watery area and then just kind of empty out all the water it's just really cool like watch I think this yeah there we go it's exactly what I'm talking about so cool I have this like fetish in games for like water and pools and stuff like that Ooh, it looks like there's still a little bit left right here. Let's go ahead and dig that out. Drain that below. I'm afraid if I get stuck somewhere, I'm going to drown, though. That's a problem. That could be pretty bad. Oh! Plop down a torch. That looks like a nasty area. Um, oh no. Oh no. This is the end. I can already tell. Oh no. No, no, no. Back up. Oh no! I dropped a coin! Untold riches are lost to these slimes. Oh, jeez. Oh, and it's raining, too. How appropriate. Okay, well, at least we're back up here, and I got to keep everything, uh, thanks to softcore mode, which is, you know, a very forgiving game mode. Hmm. Um, yeah. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I, I have all this tin, so I mean we can take we can make some tin some tin bars Which we're doing we're gonna do that now just like that But how do I use it? I must profess that my noobishness at this point is is actually pretty annoying um, This is why it's good to actually know exactly what you're gonna do um, But I will I will learn I'm I'm willing to learn and I am very excited to forge some armor, weapons, and tools. Oh, do I get the... Do I get this umbrella? How do I get it? I really want this umbrella. Come on. I guess I don't get one. Ooh, mushrooms are sprouting up. That's really cool. I'll take the mushrooms. And uh, I'm actually going to put some more torches down just to kind of light up my home area. Seeing as how this is all kind of my stomping grounds, I need to at least have everything lit. I think it's time to also uh, expand the house. So on the next episode, I will be adding another story and possibly some extra rooms on the side um, for... 
<sighs> I'll be adding some more rooms on the side for, uh, you know, extra space for my for my crafting and, you know, all the different things. And also for, you know, the people that move in. So, um, it's been great uh, in this episode so far. Um, you know, I'm feeling good about this. I just, I really need to figure out how to make metal tools. So, um, next time we will definitely be forging metal equipment and we will definitely be expanding on the home base and uh so yeah thank you very much for watching um as always feel free to comment and suggest what you want me to do um i'm very you know open for that and uh, would love to hear suggestions so once again thanks for watching and tune in next time